Okay, and welcome back to Kim's Creations. I am gonna do another one of those Dahlia pours. I thought I would go with a more, um, not, yeah, monochromatic look. So I am going again with the Amsterdam Persian Rose, um, Amsterdam Red Purple, and Amsterdam Red Violet as my main colors. My puddle is going to be the white. I haven't decided if I'm gonna layer any white in between the colors. I may just do that few little drops, but I wanted to do this again. I figure practice makes perfect, so why not? All right, let's do it. Get the lid off of this thing. So again, if you missed my last one, the pouring medium for this is the same pouring medium that Fazia came up with. And it is 60% glue, 40% water, which is this. And then you mix this one part of this to one part Floetrol, and that becomes your, your pouring medium. Then to get your colors, you mix the pouring medium, two parts pouring medium, one part to the color, and mix it all up, stick it in your bottle, and off you go. So I've put down just a little bit of a base here with that white. From my other attempts, I have realized that smaller circles are better. I think I'm, I'm worried about, well, maybe I shouldn't sit. <laughs> I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go reverse order, dark, dark to light, maybe with the white in there. All right, let's try it. I have just mixed up this paint, so I'm gonna shake, 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 shake. All right. Let's do it. Lots of air bubbles and everything. I'm sure there'll be tons in this purple. One, two, three, four, I don't think I'm gonna add that white in. One, two, three, four. So that's how I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna fast forward from here. Definitely not my most centered piece. We'll see if I keep this one. Depends on how this turns out when I skewer it. All right, let's get started. Well, oh, forgot. Definitely need the paper towel. I am loving these colors. I actually think this will work. Gonna slowly. Obviously I have more paint on this side than I do this side, but I'm trying to remain focused on the middle here. because this I can spin off. Just 
just want to be diligent about going slowly, especially in that middle section, and wiping off your skewer in between passes. Okay, we're already through. kind of one of those things that's very much a take your time and enjoy the process. It's interesting that that purple, um, this red violet with this color combination almost has a brownish hue to it. So cool. Ah, got myself. All right, I've been through that a few times, and let's go again. I'm also tilting my skewer up as I get to the center, so there's less... Um, to drag through the paint. And hopefully that'll help keep my center a little clearer, maybe? I am liking this color combination. So again, Fazia Creations is the one who, who originally, I think, created this flower style. So, so cool. Definitely has a 3D look to it. And it's such fun to create. So yeah, down to my last two. And that's it. Okay. Now comes the spin time. I am actually torch and spin. <laughs> Again, lots of bubbles, especially as I just made this new uh, permanent red violet up. So I wanted to create a more monochromatic look. All right, let's spin this baby. Okay, let's see if I can't shift the weight of the paint more to the center. Ooh, this is definitely not on my canvas or on the spinner evenly. I'm getting more coverage. Let's 
getting there. Spin it around the other way just for fun. What a cool color combo. did it. There we go. So my center kind of spun out a little bit too much, but all in all, I am loving these colors. And I have like a raspberry shake on my hands. Yum. I am just running my fingers under the bottom to catch any excess drips because at this stage, I don't want any more coming off the top and heading down the sides. I'm gonna take this off my spinner Move that out of the way. And bring that in. Okay. There we have it. What do you guys think? I'll center that up. I am going to grab a new piece of paper towel because I don't have my wet cloth handy, which I should have had. Let's get you guys in after I torch this. Ooh, look at all those bubbles. Holy smokes. Lots and lots of air bubbles. I love it. Such a different look. All right, let's get you guys in. I'm gonna turn off my one of my lights. And get you guys down and around. And look at that. So the center, as you can see, is not as beautiful as it could be. But for me, I am ecstatic. All right, let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for joining me. And uh, if you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and uh, feel free to share on social media. All right, till next time, thanks for joining Kim's Creations.